morning, beautiful homemakers. My name is Angel, and I want to welcome you to the very first episode of Homemakers Arise. This, ladies, is a brand new podcast that I am doing where I will be on here every single morning for the month of August, Monday through Friday at 7 o'clock a.m., giving you all encouragement, motivation, inspiration, because this is the time for us to transform our lives for the glory of God. Ladies, it's a new month, a brand new month. Happy August. This is a month that we have never seen before. A day that we've never seen before and a day that we will never see again. Hallelujah. And so I'm just grateful to be alive this morning. I'm grateful to be alive. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful to have breath in my body. And as long as I have breath in my body, I'm going to use that breath to give glory, honor, and praise to the most high God. Hallelujah. And so right now with this episode, I just want to give you all a little backstory, a little introduction of what exactly this is. Okay. Because more than likely, if you are listening in right now, you may already be a subscriber to this channel, Habits of a Homemaker. Thank you so much for your your love and your support and you being here, us walking and doing life together and journeying together. So you may see that this is something different, okay? And you all cannot see my face right now. And that is intentional because for the longest time since doing Habits of a Homemaker, I have wanted to have a podcast for you ladies where you all could just be able to turn me on, listen to me without having to look at me physically, without being visually distracted. And you all could just go on about your day and you could do what you need to do and and get what you need to get done without, you know, having to physically watch a video. I'm just, I'm happy to have you here this morning. So good morning. Good morning, ladies. I'm going to start this thing off with saying thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. If you ladies have been subscribed for a while or if you have read my e-guides, you will know that that is something that my grandmother would have us say every single morning when my brother and I got up, when we woke up. She would say, did you thank Jesus for waking you up this morning? And... (laughs) That has just been something that was instilled in me as a child. And I'm now an adult with my own five children. And every day that the Lord blesses us to see a new sunrise, we say, thank you, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. And so if you're listening to this podcast right now, you are alive Praise God. You're alive. You have breath in your body. You have breath in your body, my sister. And that is something to be grateful for. You may not be able to move right now. You know, you may be struggling with your health, with a chronic illness. You may have just had a baby. You may be on bed rest, whatever the situation is, but you have breath in your body. And so we're going to use that breath. And we're going to thank the Lord for waking us up this morning. We're going to thank him for waking our families up this morning. We're going to give him the glory, honor, and the praise that he deserves. And that is due to him with the breath that he has so graciously allowed us to breathe. So I'm, 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 I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful, ladies. And I'm pumped up today. I'm pumped this morning. This is a new month. And ladies, I told myself... Okay, I'm gonna get real transparent with y'all on this podcast. This is our safe space. We can we can have some sister talk here, can't we? We can we can get transparent and go deep here, okay? And so so much has happened for me this year. January 2nd was the day that I launched my second e-guide, Blossoming and Biblical Femininity, the true virtues of a godly feminine woman. And that e-guide, oh my goodness, it took so much out of me to write that it took me to really persevere and I have talked about this you know in my blossoming and biblical femininity uh, video here on the channel 
where I walked you all through that. Just what that process looked like for me. And how I had to persevere to get it done because I, I knew that the Holy Spirit had given me something to share with you ladies. I knew that this e-guide, this book had to get written, that it had to happen. And it had to happen at that particular time. You know, and with everything in life, ladies, there's an appointed time. There's an appointed time for things to happen. And so with the launch of that and that coming out when it did and the testimonies and the feedback that I've heard. And, you know, I, I remember even receiving this one email where this lady was really saying how getting that e-guide when she did, how life-changing it was for her because she felt like she just couldn't go on anymore. And her reading that e-guide how it transformed her life, what it did for her internally and spiritually. And I said, my God, Lord, you are so perfect in all your ways because that lady needed to read that at a certain time. You had me do this work at a certain time. You wanted it to be published and released at a certain time and even though it required late nights long days sacrifice sacrifice to sleep even though that's what it took to get it out there the ob obedience right think about the scripture obedience is better than sacrifice hallelujah and so because of that because of my obedience, someone else was blessed by that during the timing that they needed it. And so my sisters, I am asking you, are you in your right position? Are you in proper alignment? Are you being obedient to God and properly stewarding? what he's giving you to steward. I remember asking the Holy Spirit, what word, what was it that he wanted me to focus on this year? What was my word for, for 2023? And the word that he gave me was perseverance. Perseverance. And as I look and reflect over the last seven months of this year, I see ways in which I persevered to get to where I know that God wanted me to be. And then I also see ways in which I just almost just gave up. I almost just wanted to just quit. Like, this is just too much. But, but God, and so as we were ending July, I knew, I, I just, I felt in my spirit that, okay, August, August is going to be different. And the Holy Spirit challenged me to do this podcast Monday through Friday for the entire month of August, every single day. Monday through Friday, to show up here and to have this broadcast for you ladies to listen to every morning at 7 a.m. But one side of me is like, oh, this is going to be awesome. You know, I'm pumped up. This is going to be great. You know, the ladies are going to love this. I, I'm so excited about pouring into them and all of these great, wonderful things, right? And then the other side of me is like, oh, wait a minute. Back to life, back to reality. You got five kids, girl. How you gonna do this? Okay, like, <laughs> how are you going to find the time? You're a homeschool mom. You know, like, what, what's, what, what's going on? You, you, you don't really have that many windows of opportunity here to be able to accomplish this task. That was the other side of myself, telling myself that, like, Wait a minute. Hmm. You know, who are you? 
Who are, who are you to do that? And y'all, I, I went to a tug of war with myself. I was going through a tug of war. And I remember, you know, I said, okay, I'm going to do it. And then I remember one day just getting so discouraged because things just weren't going right. It seemed like to me right during the day, um, my kids were having, you know, temper tantrums and I was overwhelmed and I had so much that particular day to do on my to-do list in the, in the home. And I was just like, you know what? Forget it. Like, I, it's no way. Who am I kidding? Right? Who am I kidding? How am I going to be able to, to get this done? How am I going to be able to have a podcast five days out of the week that I still have to, you know, record these and, and, and edit them and upload them? And how am I going to be able to do that for the entire month of August? Look at how this day is going. <laughs> look, look at, look at all I have to do. Look at all of the challenges I'm facing. Look at my circumstance. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All of these. Look at these that I had took my focus off of what God had told me to do. I had took my focus off the fact that my strength is not found in myself. Hallelujah. But it's found in my source. And that's God Almighty. Jesus Christ. My strength is found in the Lord. Not in myself. And see, ladies, that right there is the key when we get so distracted and we're looking at what we can do. The same way that a woman who feels defeated in spirit will read Proverbs 31 and she'll say, oh, there's no way I could. There's no way I could measure up to that. There's no way I could do that. There's no way I could be that kind of woman. There's no way. There's no. They'll say that over and over again. Because she's already defeated in spirit. But when you look at it through different eyes, through a different lens, and you know that you're not relying on your own strength, but you're relying on the strength of the Lord, that he's your source, that he's your strength, that he's your comforter, that he is your encourager. When you're relying on him, you'll look at the scripture and you'll say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. If he... If he has commanded me to do something, he's already given me what I need to get it done. He's got me. If this is the kind of woman that he's called me to be, I can do this. If the Holy Spirit has given me a task, if he's given me instructions to complete, he's going to see me through. And so I want you to be encouraged, ladies, today. To not look to yourself, but to look to the Lord. He's got you. And he's going to help you care for your home. He's going to help you to care for your husband, your children, yourself. To serve your family with joy. With loving kindness. To have peace in your home. The Lord is going to help you. Do all of that, but you have to rely on him and not yourself because you are incapable. You are incapable of doing what you need to do if you don't have the Lord. But when you have him and when you seek him, there's... There's nothing that can stop you because you've got him. So you will be able to be that Proverbs 31 woman, be that Titus 2 woman that he's called you to be because you're relying on him. You're leaning on him. And so I just want you to be encouraged, sis. So when I say homemakers arise, where does this come from? You know, I say a lot on, on the channel. Rise up, woman of God. Rise up. And so I had to say that. That's my little baby. <laughs> I had to say that to myself. 
I said, hold up, Angel. God is giving you a task to carry out. And so you can do this. You just got to change your mindset. You've got to change your mindset. You got to rise up, woman of God. Stop being defeated in your thinking. Stop being defeated in your mind. All you have to do is just tweak your schedule. I was coming up with a new schedule anyway for the month. Tweak your schedule. Make some adjustments to it. Plan out your day. And arrange it so that you have the time still committed to your family. And then you have a designated and appointed time in the evening to work on what you need to do after you have spent time with your family. After you spend time with your husband. You can work on what you need to do to prepare to prepare for the next day. And so I've made some commitments to myself. I've made commitments to get up at a certain time early in the morning, every morning. I'm up every morning, guys. This month at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. My baby, my my newbornish <laughs> baby, he's turning four months old now. And so I said, okay, I, I gotta I gotta switch some things around. Because life still goes on, you know. For a while, I, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm giving myself more grace in this area because I just had a baby and all of these different things. And that's perfectly fine. And that's absolutely true. But I'm like, okay, now he's 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 about to be four months. Come up higher, sis. <laughs> Gotta come up higher, girl. Because stuff still has to get done. And I want it done in excellence. And I've already shared with you ladies, you know, we're going higher this year. We are going higher in 2023. Ladies, we're in the eighth month of the year. But guess what? The year is not over. Some people start getting to this point and they're like, okay, I'm ready for 2024. No, no, boo. It's 2023 still. What, it, what is God trying to do in you now? This year, this month, this day. What have you been telling yourself that you can't do that the Lord has called you to do? Whether that's rising up early for your family so that you can be able to get breakfast prepared for them. Whether that's cleaning your kitchen late at night to make sure that in the morning you can be able to serve them with loving kindness. And not be mumbling and grumbling and complaining and be frustrated because you have to wash dishes only to dirty them again five minutes later. What is he calling you to do? Is it to actually get up so that you can prepare your husband's lunch? And he doesn't have to buy fast food every day because you're too lazy to get out the bed and prepare him something to eat while he's at work. Is he calling you to actually get up and pray for your family? But you're being too lazy to do so. And you're not guarding your home spiritually. You're not on guard. You're not covering your husband. You're not covering your children. You're not praying for them throughout the day. You're not praying for them when they go to bed at night, you're not taking the time to parent effectively. Is he calling you to get off social media because it's become such a huge distraction in your life that you can't put the phone down for five minutes? How is he calling you higher? Is he calling you to start a business, a family based business? Is he calling you to write the book? Is he calling you to mend a relationship? Is he calling you to forgive somebody? Is he calling you to get your house in order? Is he calling you to finally declutter <laughs> and get ready for what he's trying to give to you in this new season? What is he calling you to do? Is he calling you to be faithful to your word? He's calling you higher, my sister. Don't give God excuses. Give him your yes. I had to tell myself that. Angel, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't give God any more excuses. You can't give yourself any. I told you all I was, I was talking myself out of, oof, my God. I was, I was allowing the enemy to talk myself, to get me to talk myself out of being obedient to God. 
because I was looking at my circumstances or my life or my situation and saying, but God, you're, you're calling me to do this, but I can't, but I have, but, 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 no. So I just made a decision. I just made a decision to be faithful. And I'm relying on him to give me the strength that I need, but I'm going to do the work to get it done. So that means getting up early in the morning. That means having a routine, having a schedule, doing things differently, not wasting my time, doing things differently. So that's what I'm committed to. And I, I'm going to share this story with you ladies really quickly before we wrap up here. Homemakers arise. As I was saying earlier, I say, you know, a lot on this channel. Rise up, woman of God. And I was trying to come up with a name for this podcast. I was going through, you know, different ideas that I had. And I just thought, I'm always saying, rise up. And so I thought about rise up and then I thought about arise. And I said, wow, you know, let me just, let me double check, right? Let me, <laughs> let me go on, on to Google and go on a dictionary and just make sure I'm not using these words incorrectly. And so I was looking at the difference between rise and arise. And so I said, after reading it, I said, okay, I'm going to use arise because arise is to begin to occur or to exist it means to come into being or to attention okay so where we have rise which is physical like even we think about proverbs 31 she rises while it is yet night she rises she gets up so you're physically getting up arise doesn't necessarily have to mean you physically get up but it's to begin to occur or to exist so after you've gotten up woman of god what are you going to do after you've gotten up? This is a new day. This is a new morning. A new day, like I said, you've never seen before. You'll never see again. You've already risen, right? You, you, you got out the bed. Now it's time to arise. It's time to take your rightful position. It's time to come into being. It's time to be at attention. What are you going to do with this day? What are you going to do with this day? And I, I reflected. I said, my God. When I was 16 years old, I wrote about this in my book, Blessed Beyond the Bruises, that's on Amazon. This is the very first book that I wrote, the most transparent book that I've ever, ever written. I don't even talk about it so much because I was so transparent in there that it, it almost, it scares me sometimes to have people read it. But I was obedient to the Holy Spirit. And so I wrote that book. And in that book, I share with you ladies in a chapter, I share in a chapter when I consciously gave my life to the Lord, when when I got saved at 16 years old, and I, I share the whole story there, so I'm not going to share that here. But I thought of it was at a women's retreat, and I just thought of this. I just thought of this, ladies, before I came up with the name for the podcast. Just thought of this from that was when I was 16 years old. I'm 31 years old now, and I just remembered this all these years later. That the theme of the women's retreat was arise, woman of God. That was the theme. I'm getting emotional. Because that was the theme of it. And I've been saying that, you know, in my videos for so long now. And I... I had no recollection. I didn't even remember that that was a thing. And I'm like, wow. Wow, Lord. I just see how you've been with me. That was the theme of the women's retreat when I was 16 years old and I gave my life to you consciously. I made a decision to really live for you. Fully, not just go to church because I grew up in church my entire life. I've known God my whole life, but really to like be in relationship with you on a deeper level. And to know that that, that was the theme and to see that that's been what I've been saying all this time. I said, okay, that's it. 
Homemakers, arise. Because it's time for us to go to a new level, ladies. It's time to cut out the excuses. It's time to cut out the, oh, I can't. I have this. I'm telling y'all. It's, I have a chronic illness that when you look it up, whether it's on Google or any YouTube or whatever, you will see how debilitating it is. How debilitating it can be. All of the symptoms that you have and that you experience, <laughs> y'all, it, it, it's, it's no easy thing to go through. It's not. And I battle this. Every single day while being a wife, while being a mother to five children who are all under the age of 10. Three of them under the age of five, a newborn, breastfeeding, while being a special needs mom. My oldest child has autism. So even through it all, even through looking back at my life and I see the things that could have took me out of here. That I wrote about and shared in my book, Bless Me on the Bruises, the abuse I endured, the things that happened to me, the things that I went through. But I'm still here. I'm still here by the grace of God, not by my own strength, but by the grace of God, by the power of God Almighty. I am still here and I'm persevering with the devil meant to take me out of here. God used it for my good and I bless him for it. So I look at my life and I see the things that I've overcome. Oh my goodness. God is just, whoo, he's blessing me right now in this mo moment. Because I look and I see the things that I've overcome, the things that I overcame as a child, the things that I overcame as a teenager, the things that I overcame in my 20s, the things that I overcame as a new mom. When I look at my life and I think about everything that's happened, I think about even when I was pregnant and when it was time for labor and delivery. <laughs> Woo! And I think about, man, I've, I've birthed five children. And it was hard. It was hard. And there were some moments. There were some moments in some of my labors that I remember feeling like, I don't even know if I can make it through this. I remember crying out to God when I was delivering my daughter. All natural with no medication. And I remember screaming out and saying, God, why have you forsaken me? I said that. I cried that out to God. That's how much pain and agony I was in. That's how much suffering that I was enduring. That I felt like God had me I felt like he had forsaken me because I was hurting that bad and I think about that and I think about everything in my life that I felt like I couldn't get through everything in my life that I felt like was going to take me out of here everything in my life that caused me to feel like whoo mm -mm, I can't go on I think about that and by the grace of God I've overcome every one of those obstacles, circumstances, and situations. And I'm here. And I'm here with joy. I'm here and I don't look like what I've been through. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so I can look at the enemy and say, you want me to give up? Wait a minute. You want me to look at rising up early and making sure that I'm being obedient. You want you want me to feel like I can't put out a podcast every day, Monday through Friday for the entire month of August. You think you hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold up. By the grace of God, I was able to do all these other things and get through all these other things. And you want me to feel like I can't put out a podcast that's going to help edify your sister. That's going to help build another woman up in the Lord. You want me to think that I can't do that? Shh. Man. Shh. 
Mm -mm. No. So you know what I had to do? What that caused me to do? It, I, it caused me to remember who I am. It caused me to remember who God's called me to be. It's caused me to remember who God made me. So woman of God, you who's listening to this podcast right now, rise up. Rise up, woman of God. Rise up, homemakers. It's time. It's time to take your home back. It's time to take your joy back. It's time to take your victory back. It's time to take your peace of mind back. Homemakers, it is time to arise. So, thank you all for joining me on this very first episode of our brand new podcast, Homemakers Arise. Ladies, this is a new month, a new day, new opportunity. We are going higher. We are going to be strengthened. We are growing stronger. I promise, I promise you, if you tune in every day, even if you can't tune in at 7 a.m., you can listen to it later on. It may be the evening that you need to listen to it. But if you tune in every day for the month of August, you make that commitment to tune in every single day, I guarantee you, you're going to be blessed. I guarantee you that at the end of the month, your life is going to look completely different. It's going to be transformed. Not because of me. I'm nobody. <laughs> it's because of the power of God. Because I'm just going to yield to the Holy Spirit and I'm just going to obey him. Even when it comes down to what to talk about. Y'all, I'm just whatever he's given me. That's it. That's it. I'm going off of whatever he tells me to say. I don't have something planned out for the whole month. Like, okay, each day I'm going to be doing X, Y, Z. I'm just surrendered completely. Just here to be obedient. And just do what he tells me to do and say what he tells me to say. I guarantee you, ladies. Join me. Join me. On this month of transformation. Your life is going to be forever changed. Ladies, all of my e-guides are on sale for 50% off on my website, habitsofahomemaker.com. You can purchase my How to Be a Successful Homemaker e-guide, my Blossoming in Biblical Femininity e-guide, The True Virtues of a Godly Feminine Woman, and my Pocket e-guide, which is just a little mini e-guide sharing feminine hygiene tips. All of those are on my website for 50% off. You can also get the bundle which includes the How to Be a Successful Homemaker e-guide and the Blossoming and Biblical Femininity e-guide for an extremely discounted price, ladies. It's the best deal. You will not find another deal um, like this. You can get both e-guides for even cheaper than which you could get one e-guide when they're not on sale. So take advantage of this sale. This is the last month of August is the last month that my e-guides will be 50% off. Make sure that you get yours while you can. The links will be in the description box as well as the comment section below. So I thank you ladies so much for listening in. If you listen to this podcast and it was a blessing to you, go ahead and leave a sunflower emoji in the comment section and just let me know that it blessed you. Let me know that you were here. I love you all so much. If this encouraged you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with another sister on today. Share it on your social media platforms. Let other homemakers know that we will be here five days a week, okay? Monday through Friday, the entire month of August at 7 a.m. This podcast will be live for you ladies to tune into and to be encouraged, edified, challenged, loved on, all of that encouraged in the Lord in Jesus' name. I thank you ladies so much for tuning in. I love you. Homemakers, arise.